Okay, so let's drill down on the technical aspects causing this worldwide outage. Joining us now this morning is Cal State East Bay Communications, Professor Grant Kean. Professor, good morning. Thank you for being here. So we've learned the outage is not due to a cyber attack. It was a software update meltdown by CrowdStrike. So until we really get everything back up and running, are we more vulnerable to hackers? We might be. I think that one of the biggest takeaways for my perspective anyway, is that it reminds us something um, that happened in the 2000 millennial bug bug panic and that you know, we're suddenly reminded that we are part of a global technological system. And in essence, we are pretty much always vulnerable to some type of technological failure, whether it is malicious or whether it's not. And so our first concern with technology should in many ways be that it will always fail. And this is something I like to tell my students that um, when you use technology, you need to expect that at some point it's going to fail. And you won't know when, you won't where, but it's always going to be inconvenient. So, And of course, uh, yes, go ahead. No, you bring up a very good point right there. I just kind of want to jump in and talk about that a little bit. Are we becoming too reliant on technology when you see something like this affect so many businesses and people around the world? I wouldn't say reliant so much as um, maybe we're forgetful about really what is going on with our technology, that um, it's inconvenient when it doesn't work. We love it and ignore it when it does work. And what we need to keep in mind, a man-made element here. We are not uh, building things that are infallible. So anything that doesn't work can come to some kind of at some point. So just to be clear, this is an issue with cyber strike, but this is really affecting, uh, you know, other software systems like Microsoft and their Microsoft 365 apps. What does that impact? Well, Microsoft itself had a, a issue before this one hit, and it was a smaller um, issue, but it impacts the network technologies. So, um, so it's not just this standing alone, and I'm not, I, I haven't been able to discover whether this is compounded issues or not, but uh, this has actually happened from what I understand. So um, we want to be careful, though, of uh, paying attention to redundancy and making sure that health systems and financial systems are going to be able to recover from these kinds of things. All right. Well, thank you for that. We hope, you know, things get back on track here sooner than later. Cal State East Bay Communications Professor Grant Keen, thank you so much. OK, so let's move on and talk about how our, this is going to affect us here at home. And of course, we will be following new developments on the global IT outage right here on air and over on our website, KPIX.com.